used to control all shuttle missions. There are three other control rooms in this building. One of them you passed as you came in, that is the blue room. And we are currently using that room as a training facility and as a backup to this room. If you look at the monitors on both sides, that is the red room. It is directly across behind this wall. And we use that to control the International Space Station. It is manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week because we currently have two American astronauts and one Russian cosmonaut on the ISS. Finally, we have a fourth control room, which is open Monday through Friday for the public to visit. And it is a historic mission control room. It has been a designated historical landmark here in the United States. Look at the screen all the way at the front of the room. That is what we call an orbital flight map. By the way, those are live pictures coming in from the space station. That's the Earth beneath. But right here in the center, we've got an icon, and they're coming in right over the Gulf of Mexico. Right here, with that red circle around it, you watch that flicker every so often. And the reason it's flickering is because the space station, just like a shuttle would be if we had one up right now, is traveling at a speed of 17,500 miles per hour. That's five miles per second. 1,001, we just want five miles. Hello? We just want another five miles. <laughs> Let's look in the room itself. If you go up two rows, right here, there's a position called flight director. Now, what is flight director all about? Well, as we affectionately call him or her, flight is in charge of all aspects of the mission. Everyone in this room will report to the flight director. We use a lot for crew training. The engineers use these to go in and make sure that new equipment's going to fit when we fly it up to the space station. So this is actually a working laboratory that you're looking at here. The pieces of the space station are spread about on the floor. Most of them are roughly in the configuration that we have in space, but because we're limited to the flat floor, most of the equipment and the racks, just like we have it in space, we use these for training different types of space station procedures. We go in and practice the logistics of what it takes to move things from one end to the other. A little bit over to your left is the uh, space station airlock. Directly in front of us is the Full Fuselage Training, or FFT. This is a full-scale mock-up of the shuttle orbiter, except without the wings, because they are not the end of the your helmet, your harness, your parachute, they all stand in the seat. So how do you go to the space, so how do you do it in the launch pad, and then how do you line up the and you can actually do that just like we would do it if the orbiter was in flight. Yeah, and all about that size? Yeah, that would be in that Well, get on the circle. There. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when we have pressurized cargo... Uh, I'll hit him. Uh, 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 six Wow. Now this is cool. 